Yep, we'll get right back into Elder Scrolls. Um, my energy is generally better than yesterday, and my nose is clearing up a little bit, but my coughing is quite bad, and you can't hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. But I can't hear the computer. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> Again, testing, 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 testing. Hello. Cool. Now I can hopefully it's a game. Yeah. Perfect. My child, slow down. You eat too fast. You don't want to harm poor Carlin. We need to feed to get stronger. When Montclair shows up, I want to be ready. That is not our way, child. And Fine, you know it. whatever. Stop I mean, feasting now. I'm sorry, Count Verandas. You know I only want to help. Of course, my child. Now, let's clear away our meal and welcome our friend. Colin, as always, I thank you for sharing your life's blood with us. I live to please, my lord. He was a willing participant. I apologize if the scene before you makes you uh, uncomfortable. I did not expect you to arrive during our mealtime. As for why I kept my true nature hidden, well, well, I've been called far worse. But I prefer to think of myself and my companions as gifted. We are not ashamed of our condition. We are not monsters. The High King is a wise man, which is why I supported him and not the Mad King Ronsa. We all have the ability to make our own decisions. You were able to drive off Rizal Jewel and take back Shornhelm. Those were no small feats, I assure you. But Emmerich needs our help to restore Rivenspire's tranquility. Walk with me and I will explain. Hmm? There is much. Adusa, please make sure Gwen misbehaves herself. Poor Carlin needs time to recover. 
The little one gets no dessert this evening. But Musa will make sure. To understand the path that Montclair follows, you must understand how he came to walk upon it. I believe the key to stopping him hides within my own memories. Memories are elusive shadows, hiding truths behind our own perceptions. But How old are you? Else could examine them. Hmm? What would they see that we do not? I'd like to try something if you're willing. Uh, this potion will allow you to dream walk through my memories. I must say, I your eyes will see that I strange have seeing you as me. <laughs> Mother, please, you have to take the medicine. Rizal Jewel no. can help you. Sweet daughter. I... I can't go on like this. I don't want to spend my final days as an experiment. Instead, let me spend them with the ones I love. Even in retrospect, reliving this is difficult. Her pain, her suffering. She had so much courage. There has to be something more we can do. Ferrandis, can I talk to you for a moment? Layla doesn't have much time. I know it. She knows it. She's trying to be so strong, but... I swore I would never ask... I know, I know. You swore an oath. No one should ever have to endure the things you've gone through because of what you are. You can't make that decision for her. Neither can I. But you can give her a chance. I... There is no other way! <sighs> I don't know why I waste my time with you! Sometimes, you're as heartless as the monster so many purport you to be! Perhaps I should have done as Baron Montclair asked, given Layla my gift. Or maybe then this war would have never started. No, I remember all of this as though it were only yesterday. There has to be something else, something I missed. Or... This is hopeless. Baron Montclair forces me to mix concoctions that I know won't do any good. I'm talking about knowledge and ancient magic. I'm talking about the forgotten arts of the alien. I happen to possess an alien relic, or at least a shard from one, but the Baron won't listen. I knew I could count on you. Without your help, my friend, I would have never recalled that Rizal Jewel led us to the alien relic. What else have I forgotten, I wonder? Three cheers for Verandis! He gave me the means to save my beautiful yes. wife. To our dear friend, Verandis. How can we ever repay him? He is great, isn't he? And so handsome. <laughs> and I want to cheer about this wine. By the divines, this stuff is we delicious. We were so happy at this moment. We were all together. Friends and family. Enjoying each other's company. For the final time. Verandis, may I speak to you for a moment? Alone. I don't recall speaking with Layla. Why can't I remember that? Don't mind Wylan. He's just angry that the shard's effects faded away. Damn you. Rizal Jewel knew about the alien relic the entire time. He convinced me to give it to Wylan. Why didn't I remember that? And this, as I now recall, Rizal Jewel gave me a shard, a, a piece of an alien relic. I presented it to Montclair, and he, in turn, used it to heal his wife. But not exactly. It helped, but I can't remember why. We were here, celebrating Layla's improved condition when. Turn into a blood faint. You mustn't say anything, please. I, just a little dizziness, a little discomfort. It must be all this activity lately. No, 
You leave him be. Uh, He's happy now. I, I can't stand to see him worried, sitting beside my bed. Talk to the Argonian. See what he's found out. We need to find the larger relic. Or at least, I knew I could... Verandis, my friend. You really must allow your charges to get out and have a little fun every now and then. Poor Gwendis here is having a splendid time, but it's like she's never tasted a fine wine before. Oh, not that again, Verandis. And especially not now. We're having a celebration. What does that matter? If not for you, I would never... He was always bringing me tinctures and alchemical concoction. Better? Yes, but she's not fully healed as yet. It's just a matter of time, I'm sure, but she's out of bed. She's even painting again. My good Verandis, it wouldn't be a day if you weren't concerned about something. It's your nature. To think that such a tiny rock could hold so much power. The Baron wasn't listening to me. We needed someone he trusted. Well, that's unfortunate. But it is only a small piece of a grander relic. I found the stone among the effects of King Ranser's royal historian. Back when I served in Ranser's court. She had quite an intriguing... The manuscripts are locked away. But I left my notes in your library. A few phrases stood out as I translated. Life, death, crag. I'm sure. I remember now. The translation, we, we, we misinterpreted it. We assumed the crag housed a powerful healing artifact, but... We were... Not exactly, not yet, but I will figure this out. In the meantime, there is one more memory. A perilous peak that rises from the mountains to the north. It has always been a... Yes, and it's the place that's got the lightning coming out of it. behind Violet. Who knows what else we're going to run into. There was no choice, Mother. You're getting worse and we can't wait for them. I'll stay here and protect the way out. Keep watch in case the guards catch up with us. The rest of you need to keep moving. Thank you, Gwendis. At least you retain a sense of honor. Violet, you have to stop <laughs> blaming Verandis. This wasn't his fault.
Come on. Mother doesn't have much time left. These animated bones. Why do they seek to keep us from the relic? Are they the lingering remains of the aliens who once dwelled here, do you think? Well, they won't stop me. No matter. I have never been more sure of anything in my life, Verandis. I will sacrifice everything. You did what Layla wanted? What about what I wanted? Mm. I asked you to do something and you refused. Well, I'm done asking. Now we do exactly as I say. And with or without... Sorry won't help us here. We have to find the alien relic. That's all that matters now. Just remember. What a magnificent structure. The relic this monolith houses must be powerful indeed. episode behind us now I very much doubt it mate this is it the relic is beyond this door Can you feel the relic's power, Varen? Enough of your constant mewling, Verandis. Are you a vampire or a scullery maid? This is exactly what we've been looking for. You told me yourself. The alien texts refer to... We don't know why the aliens did a lot of things. They were a strange people. This dude is a Have bloody you, idiot. My darling Layla. Soon the light will wash away It's your going pain. to work, Baron. The power of this ancient alien remnant. It's almost overwhelming. You're going to be all right, Mother. Just hold on. I the kind of make you like new, my love. You'll be reborn. Something's happening. I feel the power. Something feels wrong. Verandis, we need you. We need your power. Quickly, touch the relic and help us. <sighs> Aniamis Alata, Malatua, Vasha Anya Belda Sankre. <laughs> What's happening to it's us? It's working. It's working. Soon the power will be ours to command. No. What? What have you done? This isn't me. I... I never wanted this. Please, Verandas. Help me. Make it stop. I... I can't... End this, Verandis. End this before I... No! 
Candice, what did you do to Layla? You'll pay for that vampire. HD attack me. Now. Nothing can stop me from reaching out and snapping. Candice? Montclair, no. Come on, Varenne. We need to get out of here. Remarkable. What a strange sensation of new recollections and old. I believe that Riz Al Jewel somehow removed those moments from my memory. Ah. Strange. This orientation is understandable. Somehow, when I joined the ritual, I altered the power of the relic. I turned Layla. I have Gwendis to thank for that. She pulled me out of there before Montclair and the others were fully recovered. Now, Montclair claims he wants to end death and suffering. That he wants to take the throne of Ronsa. The Aeliad text referred to an outpost in the hills. I need to find out where that is. It may be that the answer to defeating Montclair can be found in this hidden location. Now you know how this sordid situation began. And you know how I, to my great and everlasting shame, helped Baron Montclair reach the lightless remnant. But now to more immediate matters. I know where Riz Al... Not so fast, my enthusiastic friend. My agents have learned that Riz Al Jewel struck in the west and is still in the area. Captain Genevi, Countess Tamrith's youngest sister, has established a camp for displaced refugees. I had hoped you would make such an offer. Now, my instincts tell me that Riz Al Jewel allowed the refugees to survive. It's a trap. It has to be. Find the camp and tell the captain what I have learned. Oh. there on horse.
Can I ask your help? My we were at Crestshade. Ignobert and Xandir were trying to get some merchants to safety when a swarm came down. He's there, or he's dead. If you'd be willing to take on the vampires, take my dog Whistle. Xandir's... Find that man of mine, will you? Next time he wanders off with the pup, he's going to have to get Xandir to drag him back. <laughs> we're more like freelancers. You can go far in the world with a... What is it? You look like you can defend yourself. Welcome, and by the light, we'll be ready for the mad lizard. We were tracking him when we ran into these poor displaced people. We threw together this camp to sh Since my sister decided to visit, I must secure the camp. To this end, I need someone to find Jonah Morose. Jonah claimed he could send- A good soldier relies on- I've met a few Argonians in my time. An interesting bunch. Connected to nature. Calm. Strange sense of humor. Rizal Jewel is nothing like that. He's evil to the core. Where Montclair found him is beyond me, but he served the Baron for years. Spreading chaos. He's using some sort of blood curse to turn innocent people into mindless blood fiends. Makes them feral. All you can do is kill. His mother was trying to keep him quiet, but Jonah was agitated, made everyone nervous. RK knows these people could use a bit of peace. Honestly, I have no idea. Perhaps Jonah is just seeking attention. She claims that she wants to be here when we finally catch the Mad Argonian, and that she wants to reassure the refugees with her presence. Yes, yes. My full name is Genevi Tamrith, second daughter of House Tamrith and captain of the Shornhelm Guard. Away. Leave us alone. I don't want to become a blood fiend. Talking to me, bad voice. Go Quiet. The bad one will taste your words on the air. He's coming. I saw Rizal Jewel in a dream. It was the night Crest Shade was attacked. I could feel his presence. Now I always sense him. He watches me. Uh, mother's fine, fine. No, no, no. That would be bad. I, I scared the others. They didn't like me. Besides,
didn't even have a moment's warning. By our count, when the vampires attacked, Genevi and Darien charged right into the thick of the battle. I lost sight of them since I stayed to defend the camp, but I could hear Genevi calling. Here, take these healing poultices. You might as well help me tend to the soldiers while you're talking to them. I don't... Did Countess Tamrith give you a poultice for me? Thank you. This will help my wounded arm. No, I'm sorry. Everything was happening so fast. Give me a few moments to catch my breath, then I'll be back. Thank you. For a noble, the Countess sure knows how to make a proper poultice. I took a few hits, but I'm luckier than most, I suppose. She ordered us to defend the camp and protect the refugees. Then she was off, like a whirlwind and our captain is. I heard her shout something about spotting Riz al Jewel, but then she was too... These poor bastards. They're just trying to find some place safe. Ah, a healer's poultice. Good. I prefer a bandage over a potion. I always found healing potions to taste rather like bog iron ale after it was strained through sweaty horse hair. She tore after what looked like a dark cloud to the west over by the river. Pretty sure it was that necromancer we were hunting. The captain loathes necromancy and the dark arts probably why she was so intent on going after him. Oh, excuse me. Merely a flesh wound. Think nothing of it. She caught sight of Rizzle Jewel and rushed after him. I, of course, followed. His vampires surrounded us, and while I was fighting, I can barely stand. I, I can't believe a blasted vampire actually got a decent cut in on me. The Shornhelm soldiers were diligent enough, but I think that thrice damned Argonian used magic to mask their approach. They moved in so quickly and quietly. Oh, yes, indeed. If I could get my hand... Mother is sad. Very... Mother is hungry, but it makes me a little sick to watch her eat. Are you looking for the captain? Rizal Jewel likes to take parts from different bodies and make entirely new creatures. That's probably what he'll do to the captain, or turn her in. Please, please don't hurt me. I need to take care of mother. I'll tell you what you want to know. Mother up. Secret tunnel. 
Secret tunnel. the light to navy my sister you're alive wait what happened to no no not you to navy not you what where am i sister oh, what has he done to me what what have i done to navy oh to navy we'll figure this out just stay calm please i need your assistance what have I done? What have I done? Genevi, 
My sister. Rizal Jewel afflicted her with his blood curse. She's becoming a... a vampire. I wish there was another way. But I must be strong. Vampires are unholy. Evil. I can't let my sister be... I can see it in your eyes. I'm turning. Becoming one of those... things. I heard what my sister said. She thinks I'm evil. Unholy. But it's still me. I'm still the shield of House Tamrith. I'm still... Thank you, my friend. You are wise and merciful. This decision will come back to haunt us. Mark my words. Let's just get out of this vile cave and let the light guide our path. I pray that your decision to save my sister wasn't a mistake. I shall look to... Yes, our work here is done. Now, we must turn our attention to the traitorous Baron Montclair. But before... Ready to move on, hero? Veranda sent word to me. I know where we... There's an old ruin in the Lorcrata Hills, northeast of Shornhelm. Veranda said his research led him there and he needs your help. Why he needs you when he has me, I'll never understand. But he is the master, as he constantly reminds me. They won't be needed at the Lorcrata ruins. That's for you and Verandas to deal with. I'll bring her ladyship up to speed about what's going on in North Point. You can meet us there after you and Verandas are finished with the ruins. I do that. Is it an enchanting table? Maybe I do need to honestly have to see.
go. Here we go. Change it. Recorro, Marco, Recuta.
just hope the blood's not polluted with mead. <laughs> I know my pimple said the other way. I don't know why you're around. There you are. I hope you didn't have any trouble. Ah, I take it Gwendis found you. And I assume that you dealt with Rizal Jewel. Then we are ready to begin. A forgotten tumble of ruins in the desolate Locrata Hills. I found a trap door that should grant us access to the chambers beneath, but it's locked tight. Look around for a way to open the trap door. I advise caution, my friend. As with Rizal Jewel and Camp Tamrith, I have a feeling that the enemy remains at least one step ahead of us. Since I of course, it isn't as though you restored my missing. I'm not sure, but there must be something here that we need. Why else would the two alien outposts be linked as they are in the manuscript? First, however, we need a way. Rhea was a sweet young woman committed to her family and infatuated with me. She didn't ask for what happened to her, but that doesn't excuse her behavior. So her father gave her command of a portion of his troops just as he did with Rizal Jewel. She's been active in the north and east, creating blood fiends and causing chaos. I assume she has her eye on North Point. What's the door with the on it? Oh, it's shit, I'm like, nah, fuck this. Over here, did you find anything that might help us? You found a key? Very good. Enter the ruins and I'll... More questions? You are a kid. And something... alien? That's all I know. The fragments of manuscript I was able to study weren't very specific about what was stored at the Locrata site. I honestly...
is. A veil has been cast upon these ruins. It's just as I expected. Lorea knew I'd come here and has placed an obstacle in our way. As I feared, the delay caused by my missing memories allowed Mont... Lorea has placed a veil upon these ruins. It's a simple illusion spell that she amplified using the power of the lightless remnant. It hides the true topography. When we push forward, Lorea's veil is far from perfect. And she made it specifically to hinder me and my vampiric charges. She wasn't expecting you, Alpha. Coordinate our attacks. Make every blow count. Bakrudi welcomes you. Are you interested in pleasures and riches? This one can help. A lovely prize. Until next time. Way ahead appears blocked. I'm sure it's another illusion. The veil hid this gauntlet of traps from us. We need to move through this area with caution. This way. With the veil torn, I can see a way up over there. Jesus, that was pathetic. to clear this portion of the veil so that we can move forward. See if you can rip open a tear and shred this illusion. Whenever you are, my friend, I just hope that there are eyes. Hopefully that's the last of the veil. Let's see if we can get through that door now. Well done, my friend. I'll meet you on the other side. I think what we're looking for is just beyond this chamber. The 
item we seek is through here. Follow me. Though it has been waiting for us all of this time. Huh. I wonder, is this book real? No. Nope. Just another of the Raya's illusions. It's an illusion. Remarkable. It appears to be an intact volume of alien. This is all about the remnant of light. Before it became corrupted. Now that seems likely. Between the relic's magic and the vampiric abilities I inadvertently provided, Montclair has become more powerful than I expected. Well, my friend, it appears that the book is real and not part of Lorea's illusion. I believe it will be of great help to us in the trials ahead. That said, I have much research to do. Ancient alien isn't my native language, you know. I believe so, yes. I have much more reading to do before we get to that point, though. Know that we wouldn't have this advantage if not for you. While I continue my research, you should head to North Point. Gwendis caught wind of the Rhea in that area, and I had her direct Durell and Tamrith to take their troops north. I'm sure they'd appreciate any help you can provide. Baron Dorum considers North Point to be his seat of power. He has a number of holdings there, including a lucrative maritime endeavor. It makes sense that Montclair would send Lorea there. If they control North Point, they control the North. Gwendis reported that North Point has been sealed. I fear Montclair already controls the city. Find Baron Dorum. He commands the troops amassing out... I expect that Baron Doral and his troops will have found a good vantage point outside the city. While you help them liberate North Point, I'll continue to study the alien book we discovered. Very well. Ask your questions, and then I expect you... Finished? I have only just begun! And I... As far as I can tell, no one other than Rizal... Certain? No. We can't, Mike. Character sounds like I'm in pain when I'm whispering. Nice of you to finally join us. Those damn Montclairs have locked me out of my own city. If any of my people have been hurt, I'll kill Montclair and his daughter with my... 
You know how to get things done. Join up with Scordo and help him find a way into the city. I'll keep the... North Point is an important trading center, with many House Dorel holdings. Whoever controls the city controls the northern region of Rivenspire. If I were a obli... My son, Elec, was in charge while I was at Shornhelm. If he's still alive, he must be somewhere inside the city. Reports indicate that Baron Montclair hasn't been seen in weeks. Though this mess has his fingerprints all over it. Prior to her mother's illness, she was a charming young woman. A real magic-using prodigy. Now it's like she's been replaced by a dark seducer. Men and women will do anything to please her. I sent Scordo and a small group to establish a secure base among the farmhouses outside the city. He's supposed to find a way into North Point and then send us a signal. Since that hasn't happened yet, Countess Tamrith went with him. Against my better judgment, I might add. And that fancy knight Darian decided to tag along. He's gotten rather friendly with Scordo since he arrived. Walked into the wrong farmhouse, Montclair. Well, kiss a troll and call me Pumpkin. I know you from Shornhelm. Did Baron Dorel send you? I was the orc in the cage. Mm -hmm. I'm a shining moment, but it's not like I'm a noble or anything. No matter. I'm just glad. It's a disguise. What's wrong? Don't you like it? Is my helmet on crooked or something? We're going to sneak into North Point. Not usually my approach. No idea. He went to scout around and hasn't come back yet. So far, we've learned the patrols outside the city consist of untrained fighters with orders to keep people away. Only the officers seem to know what's going on inside. I suggested busting a hole in the wall, but the Countess decided we'd just save that as a last resort. Darian went out to search while we took care of the farmers. They came to us for help, and you know how the Countess feels about refugees. Do your worst, lackey to a foreign crown. I won't tell you anything. Well, I guess that would be all right. I am a guard of the First Order, a member... What part of I won't tell you anything didn't you understand? Why could that possibly matter? Really? Your beloved Countess would never stand for that. You're bluffing. You're the one? You killed Riz al -Jul? I'm just a guard. The officers... Okay. giving that new transfer a piece of her mind. I saw that. She dragged the poor guy into the officer's quarters. I haven't seen either of them since.
was wondering when you were going to show up. Want a bite? Reconnaissance, but keep your voice down. No need to wake the good captain. And know what I learned? There's not a single guard in the... Isn't that enough? I was fairly proud of that bit of espionage. But you're right, there's more. The good captain here let slip that there's a smuggler's tunnel. Leads right into the heart of the city. It's our... My, my, Sedarian. That was impressive. But when it comes to smugglers' tunnels, I think there's a thing or two I can teach you. I'm not sure how to respond to that. Why don't you find out what our vampire vixen is talking about? I must say, Darian certainly has a way with the ladies. That's not how I'd go about extracting information from the enemy, but I can't fault his results. The old smuggler's tunnel should lead into the city. If we can... Well, the smugglers who use the tunnels installed a gate. Gives them a monopoly on the black market at North Point. The tunnel will get us into the city. The smuggler boss is a tough pirate. Goes by the name of Lagra. If anyone has a key, it's her. But the Montclairs attack any boats that approach the city. There are wrecks up and down the coast. If Lagra's still alive... small boat Oh, well. Oh. 
Oh, there was a weight limit on bloody bag space. I definitely carry only probably 20 lockpicks with me. Because I don't think I've only ever broken two, I think. Actually sunk. What do you think you're doing on my ship? Do you know what I did to the last... Well, the last time I looked, my hold didn't lead into the city. Wait a moment. My key. If you're one of those Montclair bastards, I won't go down without a fight. Now, if you need... I don't give a troll's ear what you need. My gang is in there. They were waiting for me in North Point when the Montclair sealed the city and attacked my ship. And you just expect me to trust you? Look around. What is trust ever... And I'm the black market magister of North Point. But my assets happen to be locked up in the city or waterlogged at the bottom of the ocean. Fine. Take the key. Get the tunnel is inside the cove beneath the lighthouse. That key will unlock the trap door. That cove. Take you to where the others are waiting. Tell us you found something, hero. We could use some good news. I'm not interested in news. Tell me you found something good, hero. Right then, let's go see what Lorea is doing in there. But North Point, it just feels empty. His lordship, the Baron over there, wants us to head inside, see what's going on. And secure the area. He wants us to be slow and careful so as not to damage the I need to let Verandas know what's going on. In the meantime, talk to Spalding. So it's just us mortals from here on in? It's fine with me. I don't mind admitting that the idea of friendly vampires kind of creeps me out. North Point was my home for the last few years, so I know the place pretty well. Never snuck in through a smuggler's tunnel, though. That's going to be a new experience. Just remember that we're part of House Montclair and things should go... We need to sneak in slowly, one at a time. Wandering around as a group would just be inviting trouble. The tunnel is supposed to lead through the lighthouse. We need to get inside. Do I have a disguise?
coming with you. I not need to disguise. Check the buildings. There has to be one we can use as a safe location. It keep Bollock lived here. I hope he isn't one of these blood fiends. Anyway, this place is too small for our needs. Let's keep looking. That's the innkeeper's house, so the inn is a different building. I was hoping those guys wouldn't show up. I couldn't remember the guy who was in this girl's games, but now I know. should do nicely. Let's make sure it's clear. Go on. Go find the rest of our assault team. Because you're gonna go back out there and let them know where we are. And see if you can figure out where Lorea is hiding while you're at it. I'll get Watch your arse out there. I mean, did you see all the vampires and blood fiends? Oh, there you are. I thought my son might be hiding here. Alec and I haven't always seen eye to eye, and he's made no effort to hide his feelings about me in his journal. He does mention Lorraine Manor. I know it well. Nice to see we finally found a good use for that pompous ass. I'll meet you there. 
We'll discuss the contents of my son's will. Try not to let the blood fiends suffer when you kill them. They were the citizens of North Point once. What are she is writing in a book? Oh, it's me. Letting a noblewoman wander alone through a city full of vampires and blood fiends. What was Scordo thinking? RK guides our way as usual. Are... Are they all like this? The people of North Point. May the light watch over them. Praise RK. I can't believe that sweet Lorea would do something like this to our people. What could have driven her to such horrors? I'll head to the manor and meet you there. Gather the others and let's meet at the manor. We have plans to make and I fear our time grows short. The light preserve us. Announces it to the whole town. That's never happened before. Look out! Behind you! Ow. Watch out! They're coming out of the woodwork! and the countess when I heard the innkeeper scream but I was too late he gave me the key to the inn before he died I, I think he tried to tell me something but I couldn't make it out be on your guard here comes more of those monsters
unusual occurrence. Oh, who am I kidding? This happens to me all the time. Look here, if it isn't King Emric's own champion, the hero of the Covenant. Rhea has been here all along, and your son didn't do a damn thing about it? Yeah, what is that stuff? It smells like turf. More blood fiends? I hate this. Just give me something to hit already. But it does sound like your son betrayed North Point, Baron. It's the Remnant. It put Alec under her spell. I'm surprised he was even able to write in his journal. Maybe that was his way of warning us. The Baron was just filling us in on what was written in his son's journal. Spell or no, Alec has a lot to answer for. First, we need to find out if anyone survived Lorea's private party. The Countess heard noises coming from the inn. So Darien a <laughs> something useful after all. Go upstairs and get that key. Funny thing, Darien was scratched and battered. Claimed the blood fiends bit him. But the Countess did. Part of me wants to find Lorea in there. Then we can put a blade through her and be done with this business. But I really hope the townsfolk have crowded in there and barricaded the doors. Either way... Darian can't talk right now. I gave him something to relieve his pain. The end of my staff. Right to the side of his head. Best way to quickly quiet a delirious soldier. He was making enough noise to give away our presence, and I was in no mood. A key? Yes. He was holding on to it rather tightly. Our Fay provides. Bless us all. I heard sounds coming from the inn as I made my way here. Now we can get inside and see what's in there. I hope it's the survivors of this terrible disaster. I'd hate to... I'm going with you to check on the inn. Scordo, when we give the signal. Head to the inn. I'm right behind you. My people. A ruler shouldn't have to cut down his own people like this. Let's check upstairs. Someone must have survived this nightmare. Whoever or whatever you may be, I advise you to go away and leave us alone. These people are under my protection, and I, I believe we are perfectly safe up here. Thank you all the same. Now go away. You have more. That's than just what I'd expect one of Lorea's minions to say. You, in the attic. I am Allard, Baron of House Dorel, and I swear you will be safe in my hands. It's good to see you're still alive, my old friend. And you as well. But tell me. Alec hiding up there. I'm sorry to say, but no. 
I left him at your manor. He insisted that he wanted to stay. It's good to see Baron Allard again. He's like a brother to me. When Larea sealed the city and began turning people into blood fiends, I used my sword to cut a path to this inn and led as many as I could to safety. Quite a few, and there are more hiding around the city, protected by members of the North Point Guard. I gave the order myself as soon as I saw what Larea was doing. It started innocently enough. She had Lord Ellick call a gathering at the square. Then she addressed the crowd, saying how the blessing of my... A spell, perhaps? I'm not really sure. She made some strange gestures and spoke a few arcane words. Then it was as if a wave of power flowed out of her. People immediately began turning into blood fiends. But not everyone was affected. Lady Larea has taken Dorel Manor as her own. But I have a key. Take it. Save as many of our people as you can. And be aware that Lord Ellick is still with her. Oh, I know you. You must be the one her... You're just in time for our grand celebration. We're celebrating you. Probably. But it's not what you think. We freely accepted the will of the beautiful Lady Larea. My lady is upstairs. I'm sure she'd love to meet you. And when she tells you about her blessing... Friends, fellow nobles, the glorious blessing of Lady Larea is almost upon us. Let us prepare ourselves to bask in her presence. I know what you feel. I can take your pain away. I can make you feel so much better. Well, well, well. Let me take a look at you. Hmm. So you're the one who dispatched my father's pet Argonian. Well done, by the way. Well done. Isn't it fascinating? You want to strike me, but your weapon hangs loosely at your side. Why that is. You believe the nobles are in danger? You want to save them? <laughs> How sweet. You're trying to resist me? <laughs> oh. You need to resist her, my friend. You must break free of her spell before all is lost. You must all give yourself totally and completely to me. Just as in Locrata, Lorea has cast a veil. It hides her, protects her. You must find a way to enter the illusion. The face will feel slight of affection. The veil is a powerful illusion, but just as at Locrata, you can manipulate its power using a tear. You have entered the veil. Now find Lorea and finish this. Finish this. I guess I'll just have to destroy you now. Here, but I can open this door. You hate me 
I never wanted it. I had hoped to save Lorea from this fate, or else I should have been the one to end. Lorea gathered the nobles here, played with them, forced them to love her. It was the closest she could get to real happiness since the... Your perceptions are excellent. She used this veil in two ways, to hide herself and to overwhelm your senses with illusion. Unlike Locrata, instead of shredding the veil, this time you used the tear. With Lorea's death, the power of the veil fades. As soon as it dissipates, the nobles will appear. But now... What? What happened? By the eight. Lorea Montclair? Yes, she arrived here. She said... I... I need to get outside. Of course. Give us a moment to compose. People, listen to me. Let's head outside and make sure the rest of the city is secure. In the name of High King Emric, and in accordance with the laws of the land, I hereby order the arrest of Elec Dorel for treason and the death of his kinsmen. But father, it wasn't my fault. You allowed an enemy into our city, into our home. Dozens fell to these monsters because you couldn't ignore a pretty face. I never meant Idiot. for anyone to get hurt. I'm not even sure what happened. Lorea said she wanted to help, and... Sorry. Apologies won't bring our people back. It won't return honor to our family name. Guards! Take Alec away. You are dead to me, Alec. You're dead a fucking idiot. Sorry I disappointed you, father. It won't happen again. You may not believe this, but that wasn't how I wanted our reunion to play out. But laws were broken. I left Alec in charge. The safety of North Point was his responsibility. Someone has to answer for the deaths he caused this day. If I was in his position... Lorea paid, and for that I thank you. But Elec wasn't under a spell when he welcomed her into North Point. That was his choice. I won't... Shrouded Pass? That means Montclair is in the Doom Crack. Then the time has come to strike down the traitor and restore peace to our shores. But first I want to thank you for helping the people of North Point. It has been a grueling day. Then the time has come to meet Count Ravenwalk. I don't like that, dude. Not at all.
next. Wait, this is the way. Okay. Your mother was right. You are entirely out of your element.
damn it. My friend, I am sorry you had to be the one to end Lorea's troubled existence. It was unfortunate. Montclair is here. Of that there can be no doubt. He awaits atop the Doomcrag, where he somehow activated ancient defenses to block our path. Of course he did. We need to find a way around these defenses and then set up portals to transport our troops up the mountain. The book we uncovered at Lokrata contains maps of the ruins, among other things. These maps show two portal chambers leading to the top of the Doom Crag. If you can reach the first chamber and open a portal, be on your guard. In addition to activating ancient defenses, Montclair has somehow awakened the alien guardians that haunt these ruins. You may have to deal with them. Of course, but let's... A recent appellation. It refers to the thick fog that develops within the pass of the mountain. But my translation of the text tells me this was once a great place of learning and worship. With pilgrimages occurring daily to the top, the Locrata text may provide us with some insight that will help us deal with Baron Mont. Baron Montclair must have triggered the ancient. Jesus, I mean, sold it already. The large door straight ahead. Clearly, that's the main end.
on ahead. I'll stay here and guard the door. You would find the chamber and as our troops emerge from the portal and take a position outside you need to make your way to the second portal chamber once you activate that portal we can get the troops that much closer let's not get ahead of ourselves we must step through each door we come upon in turn for now you need to reach the second portal chamber go on the second portal chamber should be on the third level i want to make sure this portal is safe
have a barrier blocks our way. Look around and see if you can find a way to the safety. I think this one was referring to autumn. Lava lace. The time of sweet water? Hmm. That must refer to spring rains. Winter. I could Awake! The long eons of silence have finally come to you. To the knowledge of which I speak. Tell me, what is the time of dawning? Of birth and nourishing rain? Spring rains. Awake, tell me, what is the time moves forward as sweet, a time of light and joy and abundant growth. The cycle advances, and end comes to all things. A time of reaping. Tell me true, if you really wish to pass. The last cycle. Our duty has been fulfilled. Okay. The barrier has fallen. The portal chamber should be that was somewhat guesswork after the first one first one I just got wrong and then had to guess again the doom crag waits just beyond this chamber the doom crag and Beren Montclair I don't know if I'll ever get used to traveling by portal. One moment you're there, the next moment you're here. It's positive. Better than I expected. We met with some resistance, but thanks to your efforts. We should be, once everyone has come through the portal. Why don't you check with Count Ravenwatch and see if he's ready? Once again, you succeeded at the task set before you. Well done. A battle won, but the war rages on. We must reach the lightless remnant and destroy it. But Montclair will grow more desperate the closer we get to that cursed relic. Are you ready? I fear that Montclair will have a surprise or two waiting for us within the Doom Crag. Never mind that now. We must reach the lightless remnant and end this madness. Tell the... Do not question me. If my orders aren't followed to the letter, Montclair will defeat us and Revenspire will be lost. What word, my friend? Is Ver Remain behind and deny them the glory of being there when we achieve. I'll leave enough soldiers to protect our flank, but our best soldiers are coming with me. Tell the Count that we're coming. Do you believe that man? And to think, I thought him to be dashing and heroic. But enough of such matters. You aren't here to discuss my personal life. Tell me, and as a little girl, I wanted a pet guar I could decorate with ribbons and call Penelope. But we don't always get what we want. I thought I made that clear. The Count has been an invaluable ally, but he is not... Oh. Hold, mortal. You must turn back now and take the other mortals with you. Your flesh... We only seek to save you from the fate that befell us so very long ago. This fate, the relic cannot be destroyed. If that is your quest, you have already failed. The vampire knows this, as does the one now controlling... The relic is a vessel. 
It barely contains the power within it. Damaging the vessel will unleash its power, sending a wave of corruption. Exactly as I taught you, yes? the power of the remnant will call to you, tempt you. You must be strong enough to withstand that lure. I'm ready for this. You know that. Stop treating me like I'm a novice, Verandis. I won't fail you. I won't let you down. You have never disappointed me, Gwendis. But the remnant is more powerful than you can imagine. Be on your guard. Now head inside. I'll join you in a moment. Trust you have spoken to Tamrith and Dorel. Are the soldiers standing? The fools! I just wish I would have realized our mistake before. I didn't think, didn't realize that our proximity to the remnant would be our undoing. The remnant feeds off life, devours it. Not only will Gwendis and I be susceptible to its lore, but the soldiers. No, it's too late for that now. We have to move forward and hope we're not overwhelmed by our. This is where it happened. Where Layla died and Montclair changed. Sure this change my warning, Baron. This is no place for you. You would deny our moment of glory, Count? The light shines on us this day. There is no light here, Countess. Only darkness and death. Arcade, protect us. What is that? Baron Montclair. He's here. Troops, on my command. Welcome, Verandis. And like a good guest, I see you've brought me gifts to play. Allow me to grant my blessing to your army. This is exactly what I feared. He's turned our own troops into blood fiends. How does it feel to watch those who you care about turn against you, Brandis? How does it feel? Everything I ever loved, Varandis! I'm, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. My daughter loved you, Varandis. She loved you! The Remnant. The power. It drove Lorea insane. Are those giant skeletons? Yep.
Wolfric, come out and face us, you coward. You can't hide from us forever. Wyland, please. We can find a way to free you from this tower. To what end, my old friend? My wife is dead. My daughter killed by your own hand. What do I have if not this tower? I think I prefer to let you experience my pain. My suffering. To let you see what it's like to lose everything you hold dear. No, Montclair. Stop this madness. Come, Quentus. You look famished. Allow me to prepare you a feast fit for my new queen. No, Montclair, please! I never should have brought everyone here. I should... Montclair has never left the Remnant Chamber. He was able to defeat us by working through a projection. I assume he's teleported Quentus and... I'm still connected to the one who turned me. The answer to our... We can discuss that later. For now, we need to reach Gwendis before the Remnant corrupts her and she feasts upon the others. Head upstairs. I can feel them. Gwendis, Tamrith, and Doral are still alive. But I can also feel Gwen. Be on your guard. Montclair will do everything he can to stop us. When this has been harmed, or any of our friends, I'll show him no mercy. Help me, my dude. Quendis? What has he done to you? Verandus, help. Please, help me. Their blood smells so good. These restraints, they won't hold me back much longer. You must control yourself, Quendis. We'll find a way to get you out of there. Show yourself, Wylan. Tell me what you want. Tell me, Montclair, answer me! I'm sorry, my friend, but it seems we're going to have to play Montclair's game to free the others. We don't get Gwendis out of there soon. Those restraints will break, and Montclair has constructed a blood ward to imprison Gwendis and the others. The remnant, its proximity is playing havoc with Gwendis' hunger. The urge to feed. He's using alien magic to increase the power of the ward. I'll do my best to dispel it, but I think we'll need to destroy the statues if I'm going to have any chance to succeed. You must protect me while I... Montclair will strike when I'm distracted. You must keep me safe, or we'll never reach Gwendis in time. One more thing. Watch for an opportunity to destroy the statues. As long as they power the ward, my efforts will be less...
find this. Are you all right? I... I did it. I resisted. I didn't feed. Wait. What happened to the nobles? Did... Did I remember wrong? They're fine. They're nearly unconscious. I'm proud of your restraint, Gwendis. What's going on in here? Is the Countess all right? Damn it, Darian! Slow down! Wait for me, you long-legged bastard! The Baron and the Countess are fine. You both arrived just in time to move them to safety. Take them out? But we just got here. We want to help take down Montclair. Neither of us has had a good fight in... Well... At least a couple minutes. Mm. Darian, this battle is not one that you and Scordo can win. Leave Montclair to us. But, but, oh, very well. But I get to help take down the next would-be world conqueror we come across. Deal? As you wish, brave Darian. As you wish. And now, my friend, the time has come to face Montclair. Rivenspine needs Tamrith and Orel. Cannot be allowed to perish here. I need to help get the They will, with my help. Besides, I can't face Montclair just yet. If Montclair dies while connected to the remnant, the relic breaks and unleashes its curse upon Rivenspire. No one would be safe from the blow. That, my friend, is what I still need to work out. And while I do that, I need you to keep Montclair busy. You have done more than I. Okay, the long clock. The power of the remnant first free. Idiot. You did it. The power threatens to break free. I, I can feel it. How time is against us, my friend. I do, sir. My oldest, most trusted ally. Tell her that House Raven watches hers now. Because I need to take this relic out of this realm. It needs to be transported to a place where it can't do any harm. It is the only way to make certain that Rivenspire is saved. Molag Ball will take the relic into his realm. The deal has already been made. It's either this, or allow everyone to turn into the devil. Actually survived the destruction of the Doom Crag? That's remarkable. I mean, I've seen you do some amazing things. I'll never forget our adventures in Glenumbra. But to walk out of a collapsed mountain? That persnickety vampire really came through in the end. He was a good man for a vampire, I mean. We won the day, and that's what matters. Just barely. We made it out right before the damn mountain came crashing down. I still don't know what kind of magic you did up there to defeat Montclair. Before we go, you need to talk to Gwendis. She's not taking this well. All right, everyone. Let's gather up our injured and get out of here. Darian's right, right gone, isn't There's it? Nothing left for us to the money he was sacrificed. Like him dead? What do you mean he... No. Why'd you let him do that? Of course. Do you know how hard he worked to distance himself from the prince? If Arandis is still alive, the prince won't give him up easily. Why did he leave me here? I would have... I should have gone with... How do you know what he wanted? He was everything to me. 
Why did you saved us? Doesn't feel like I was saved. Before we go, take this. Brandis gave it to me, and I can't keep it. You helped him so much. You should have it. I need a little time to say my farewells. Don't worry about me. I won't do anything stupid. Thanks. But you need to get back to Shornhill. All of this. It happened because Riverspire doesn't have a true leader. If that doesn't... I'll find my way. Brandis taught me well. And Deducer's back at the manor. She'll keep me company. Things will be all right. What? So here we are. Baron Montclair's dead, and that damn artifact is destroyed. Yes, you can pat yourself on the back, all right. You've saved Rivenspire. Well, I can't very well go on pretending the nobles can share the throne. Everyone knows what a colossal mistake I made there. I'm going to have to crown someone. A king or a queen of Shornhelm. Someone to rule Rivenspire, don't you think? Exactly. So I have to choose. Countess Tamrith or Baron Dorel. Frankly, since you've recently fought alongside the two of them, You face down Montclair and live to tell about You face... Things are going well. I even plan to resume my duties in the Guard. Gwendis has been very patient. I... It's a miracle that we survived and triumphed over Montclair. Thanks in no small part to my... I do. Baron Dorel is a good man, but he can be dangerously short-tempered and is far too quick. Helping the people of Rivenspire recover. So much... We've come through much to reach this point. I do. I've come to respect Countess Tamrith. She's a bright young woman, but she's not... First things first. We need to rebuild our defenses. The Shornhelm Guard has been decimated by the Civil War, and we'll... Uh. Take as much time as you like. Good. Though I do hope you've given the matter due... She's very young. But perhaps that means she will bring some much-needed change. Very well. If that's your counsel, I will make Countess Tamrith the Queen of Shornhelm. Are you the bright young Countess Tamrith, then? I know she is thoughtful, humble, and as sharp as an assassin's dagger. I am sure she... Then it's decided. Thank you for your counsel. Both Queen Iselda and myself will be in your debt. After all you've done, there's no reward that can express my gratitude, but... <clears throat> if I might have everyone's attention, I have decided to crown a new queen of Shornhelm. Esseld Tamrith, please come forward. I hereby name your house the new royal house of Shornhelm. I give you my solemn oath, your majesty. I will lead the kingdom of Shornhelm with wisdom and honor, and I pledge my eternal allegiance to you and to the Daggerfall Covenant. All hail the new ruler of Rivenspar.
I respect the High King's decision, but I can't hold my tongue. I have serious doubts about Queen Aselde. Today is a fortuitous day indeed for Rivenspire, though. I hear... I have heard troubling news from Sentinel. Rumors say that enemies from my father's past have returned. I wrote to him right away, of course, but as everyone knows, necromancers. Their kind has not been seen in the Alakir Desert for years, but that only makes them more dangerous. Look for a ship called the Don Posset offshore at North Point. The first mate, Elvira Dere, should be waiting for you on the docks, ready to leave for Sentinel. When you get there, just make... Of course. When I was very... No. My husband has... Mm, of course. My father is King Baharajad. My brother is Zah, my sister Lakana. Hey. You made certain the Khajiit will have a voice in Elden Root. Thank you, Walker. Hey there. You the one Queen Morea bought passage for to Sentinel? All right. I'm just glad you didn't bring along a chest full of luggage. We got to row out to the posset in this little dinghy here. <laughs> as long as you don't mind rowing. Captain Mark already let me do all the rowing on the way in. Such a gentleman. Well, the captain's convinced we still haven't shaken that string of bad luck that started back in Stormhaven. That's a load of dung, though. We got a new crew and a new ship, the Dawn Posset. What more does he want? Hey there. <laughs> then let's get the oblivion out of here. All right, you lovers. Time to cast off. Zombies. I have the ship security well in hand. You in Tamriel. Why this one? I sailed all the way across the Iliad Bay, and I need a glass of grog. Share the drink with some unsavory character. You can't smell their soggy, rotting flesh? Just walk down the causeway there. You'll see them. Damned arm. Nah. I've seen a few of the bootless louts skulking around. Behind crates and such. Someone needs to go grab one of the guards and ask what in... There you go. Give the guards a kick and tell them to get to work. I've got cargo to unload. If the guards can't help us, look for the Dock Master. Maybe he's got half a brain. Unless the zombies have eaten it, of course. How do you think I make a living? I buy there, sell here. It's what I do. All legitimate, of course. Picked up. Okay. Well, we're here, all right. 
I'm not sure I'm going. You bet your arse there is. Queen Morea's messenger said she had heard rumors. Too many. I can't take it. You might want to get back on your boat, Seafarer. The dead are crawling from the sea and they have overtaken the docks. There is nothing to be done. Zombies. Oh, such a crude term. These Ranetu are the remains of sailors who shipwrecked off the coast. Do you respect our dead? No. You are an outsider. These are not your ancestors. And as such, there is no... I do not know. And I fear we have only made the situation worse. We thought we could contain them. We built barricades and tried to hurt... My fellow guards will not strike the Ranatu either. Jessmine. Pyrgene and Emidal. I fear for their lives. Alright, I'm going to leave it there for tonight. Um, I should be back on tomorrow night. If you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you want to check out the Twitch stream live here on YouTube, link is in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash 96 but yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Until next time, see you later. Bye.